hello coders welcome back to refresh coding and in this video we will see how we can deploy our microservices using docker compose in aws ec2 so as you can see we are already in our instance and we i have connected to this instance uh, using cmd and it is a ssh connect so here if you remember in the last videos we have already installed mysql client and docker and docker compose in our ec2 instance so right now i have all this installation with me in this ec2 instance so now what i am going to do i will create a docker compose file and i will deploy my microservices using docker compose so the first thing you need to do here is you need to make a directory so let's say I will create a directory as demo1. So my directory is cre created. Now I will go into the directory. Okay, so we are inside the folder demo1 now. Now I will uh, run a nano command to configure my docker compose file. So I will say nano docker compose dot yaml because it's a yaml file and here inside if you see there is uh, nothing is written so what i will do i have already created a docker compose file i have given all the details in this file so i will just copy it from here and i will come here and i will paste it and here if you see i am giving all the image details like i am using a book service and i am using a student service so these images are already there in docker hub i it, in by using this docker compose file these images will be pulled from docker hub and it will be deployed and this is the url of your aws rds since you are dealing with cloud right now so it will take the cloud database and this book db is our database name so if you remember in the previous video we have already created aws rds okay so i will save this file now and i will leave it so i will just simply say enter and now my docker compose file is configured now i will simply say docker compose up and slash t so now it will it is created both the services book services and student service with my docker and they are up if you can see from where these images are coming if you can see i have already pushed these images on docker hub so by using the docker compose file it will be pulled from here and it will be deployed now what i i want to see the logs of book service first so i will say docker compose logs and i will get the logs of book service And if you can see our Spring Boot application, which is a microservice I have created in Spring Boot, is started here. So everything is working fine. My database is connected and the microservice is also started. That means it is deployed successfully by using Docker Compose. Okay, now yeah, if I will clear this. See the same way you can see the log for student service as well. Now what are microservices and how they work that we will discuss in a separate video series. But right now here you can just learn how you can deploy your already created and pushed microservices using docker compose in AWS EC2 instance. If you want to run these services in the browser how you will do that so what you will have to do you will have to go to your ec2 instance and you will have to take your public dns so you will copy the public dns from here you will go in the browser you will paste the public dns colon what is the port number so if you see the docker compose file 
for services i have given some port numbers okay so for book service the port number is 10001 and for student service the port number is 10002 so suppose i want to run here my student service so i will give colon 10002 and i will run the url so the url is student api slash get all book so if i will run this url okay right now here i am getting some error uh, because maybe the url is incorrect or something but it it shows that you know it is fetching the data from your uh, microservice here in the browser okay so if you can see i am getting the data from database so the database which i have created there i have created book db and i have created two books there so by running this uh, you the public dns of my aws ec2 port number and the correct url i am getting this data earlier i made a mistake in the url so now i am getting the data same way you can run the book uh, book service also here okay that's it in this video thank you